first thing that comes to me is, you know, if I tried doing this, what if I had some some stuff on me that was making it a bit distorted? How do you clear yourself so that you're not being in that distorted state and not, you know, either your bias has come through or energy from the day has started to interfere with it? Do you do anything to clear or make sure that you've got this center point to actually go into the records? Like how do, yeah. you, how do you mitigate that? Like when I really started, um, I used to spend 10 minutes to wash myself with a big white column of light because white light is like the hottest, clearest frequency of uh, creation of light for me. So, How did you call that in? How did you call the light in? With the visualization. So because of the wow. practice of visualization, I use an intentional bringing of light. So that's okay. not something I channel. That's intentionally what I do. Does that wash the physical you? Does that wash the avatar you in your head? Or which? How does that actually come through? It uh, It's kind of like, so I see my multidimensionalities uh, all layered within my physical body. Okay. So like when I'm moving, they're like all these layers with me. Yeah. So I know that like the Vitruvian man, if I stretch my hands and legs in every direction, there's like a ball created around me. And I use that ball to hold the frequencies of that light. Okay. So in that full ball, there is beautiful white light and that's clearing everything. And then I also see like my cordum, column, column, cord, okay, <laughs> my column. And within my spinal cord, my uh, hara line, um, this energy is specially giving it a nice rinse and wash. So it's it goes like this and then it just becomes like a DNA. So I, it always does that and that it does on its own. So then I just allow it to be and I stay in that space. And it's also really important for me to feel and be in the space of love. So I'm not always a very loving person. Like I have all my anger and happiness and sadness and all of that, like all of us. So I really need to check in and see where I'm, where I am at and what am I feeling. And uh, my anchor is actually my niece. I feel like I love her like I love nothing else in this whole world. So I think of her. I see her cute little face and all the cute things she does and it instantly puts me in the space of love. And as soon as I do that, I know that my channel is clear. Right. Right. Okay. Now I don't do that anymore. Now I do an opening prayer which is channeled by my teacher. And when I, I've kind of anchored this whole process within that prayer now. So when I do this prayer, when I read this prayer and recite this prayer, it's just doing it on its own. So it's just become shorter now. Um, but I do need like a nice salt soak sometimes. Um, and I do like a, an energy cleanse with incense. I for, for some reason, I don't know. I use six incense sticks every day to to work around the house and to really clear out everything and bring in like that real vibration of faith and okay. and then from there i work 